Semporna is a small fishing town with a long-standing connection with the sea. The surrounding waters have played a pivotal part in the lives of the local people for generations. From providing livelihoods to even having an impact on culture, the sea indeed has deep roots in Semporna. Semporna town is located in Sabah, Malaysia, on the island of Borneo. Sabah is the easternmost state of Malaysia, bordering the South China, Sulu and Sulawesi seas. This places Semporna in one of the world's most diverse and productive marine systems, the Sulu and Sulawesi Marine Ecoregion, or SSME. The SSME lies at the apex of the Coral Triangle, an area with the highest diversity of corals, fish, crustaceans, mollusks and marine plant species in the world. In 2001, during an expert workshop on biodiversity visioning, Semporna was deemed to be a globally outstanding priority conservation area within the SSME. This marked the birth of the Semporna Priority Conservation Area, or SPCA. While it is a known fact that Semporna is a world-class scuba diving destination, there is little scientific information on its marine biodiversity. Hence, on November 29, 2010, the first Semporna Marine Ecological Expedition was initiated. Officially launched by the Semporna District Office, the 21-day expedition saw a team of Malaysian and international marine experts and scientists taking to the ocean depths to systematically study the diverse marine ecosystems within the SPCA. This included documenting the rich biodiversity and determining the health status of coral reefs, and building greater awareness of the importance of Semporna's marine biodiversity. Most of the areas that we're going is not easily accessible, and uh, I think some of the areas even has not any scientific surveys done. We are uh, believing that this area could be the richest area that we have visited so far, but at least it's important to have a, a region that is very rich in species and very close to the boundary of the Coral Triangle. The expedition members set out to make a rapid and accurate assessment of many different marine environments within the SPCA. Making up to five dives per day, the team laid out two 100-metre transect lines per dive to collect extensive data via a modified reef check methodology, reef profiling and videotaping the transect. A total of 12 kilometres of transects were laid during the expedition. Reef check is a team of uh, four scientists going down a lane on the transect line where on the transect line they will take data of uh, substrate, reef fishes and reef invertebrates. Complementing the reef status team was the biodiversity team consisting of seven marine life specialists. These experts specialise in various flora and fauna, such as reef fish, corals, commensal shrimps, gall crabs and algae. I am collecting data on coral diversity, specifically on two coral families, from offshore reefs to coastal fringing reefs over various reef habitats. It is important to know areas of high biodiversity as this knowledge can then be used for conservation and management strategies. The team was not disappointed, as Semporna's waters proved to contain an abundance of unique marine life. In addition to marine life encounters, the expedition team also had the chance to gain a first-hand view of the lives of the local people and the relationship they share with the sea. Um, I've been to a lot of markets in Southeast Asia and uh, I've seen uh, a high diversity in markets, and, but the, the diversity in this market here was extremely high. So that was probably the most striking thing about the visit this morning was the extreme biodiversity that we're seeing in the markets here. This wealth of information provides a greater macro view of the SPCA and the issues that need addressing for conservation. All in all, the expedition team spent more than 1,000 hours underwater throughout the 21-day expedition. Their findings revealed some amazing results. Semporna has the highest number of mushroom corals in the world, 43 individual species. 844 species of fish were encountered, 
More than 90 species of commensal shrimps collected, two of which are new to science. A new species of gall crab was found, as well seven formerly unknown hosts of gall crabs were observed. 25 species of Avulidae snails collected, including some very rare species. More than 100 species of algae collected. Finally, three endemic species of bubble corals were identified. Sempurna certainly belongs to the area with the maximum diversity. It's comparable with uh, Derawan, it's also Borneo with Sulawesi, Bali, uh, Raja Empat and uh, Embon. The findings of the expedition team are certainly astonishing. However, they also uncovered some areas of serious concern. The health of the coral reefs in the SPCA is in a worrying state. Out of the 60 sites studied, only 5% or just 3 sites had excellent coral coverage, with another 23% in good condition. 36% had fair cover, while the remainder were classified as in poor health. It was evident that human activity had taken its toll in the SPCA. In fact, during the expedition, the team heard over 15 underwater explosives going off and found more evidence of this destructive fishing method in the form of unexploded devices that were only a few days old. I've been able to look at the impacts of bleaching, pollution, bombing, uh, all sorts of impacts, as well as the good side of management and all that. I think uh, more stringent management and uh, enforcement needs to be done. And enforcement needs to be in a local level, community-based maybe. I hope that um, conservation efforts will continue and alongside uh, consistent reef monitoring and good management practices so that Sampornas reefs and its high biodiversity will be protected. The study confirms Senpona's status as a hotspot for biodiversity, a location that is extremely rich in marine flora and fauna, but is in danger. The timeliness of the study helped to shed light on how precious the SPCA is. There is an urgent need for more effective management of Sempona's marine resources. The area has a tremendous potential for supporting sustainable fisheries and tourism. More resources need to be dedicated to managing and conserving Sempona's rich natural heritage. The expedition was jointly organised by WWF Malaysia, the Netherlands Centre of Biodiversity, NCB Neutralis, University Malaysia Sabah and University Malaya. Also joining were participants from Old Dominion University, University Malaysia Sarawak, University Kapang Saan, and Sabah Parks. <laughs>